Hey, what is up, guys? Welcome to RAM Overload. Today, I'm going to be talking about what the top five best website builders are. So if you're looking to make a website and you don't have any coding experience, you probably are a bit confused on which is the best platform to use. You've probably seen ads and, you know, there's many different articles saying which one, this one's the best and that one. Um, and basically, I'm just going to go talk about what, in my opinion, are the top best uh, website builders out there. Okay, so first let's start with WordPress. So most people have already heard of WordPress and what it is, but basically WordPress is a full-blown CMS. So like a content management system, right? And in WordPress, you can do many different things like blogs, you can make a store, you can do just a regular website, um, just a bunch of different things, okay? And there's two types of WordPress. There's one WordPress.org and there's another WordPress.com. They are the same company, and it does use the same software and everything. Um, I'll go over the difference just in a bit. So WordPress.org is basically, it's free and it's open source. So you basically download the whole CMS software, right? And you host it on whatever website or hosting provider you want to, okay? There's a lot of themes out there for WordPress.org, right? Uh, you know, people have custom themes out there. <clears throat> And I believe there's over like 8,000 different themes. Okay, so there's a lot of uh, selection with WordPress.org. Okay, and not only that, there's just there's so many plugins as well. So there's plugins, you know, different things for spam, for SEO, for I don't know. Just, they just have a, basically everything. Okay, <clears throat> so definitely uh, check this out. It would be my first. Uh, recommendation but the only downside about this is you do have to be a bit techy because you have to know how to host uh, since this is self-hosting um, you will have to know how to get a hosting provider and be able to host this on that on on a different hosting provider all right and and with that you will probably also be doing a lot of the maintenance yourself which you know um, if you're not into it, then definitely um, don't go into this but if you are um, if you do think you can do it, you will have to be, you know, man managing the database and everything yourself. All right. That being said, uh, if WordPress.org is not for you, you can definitely always try WordPress.com. So WordPress.com is basically they take your WordPress, but they host it for you. Okay. So you really don't have to worry about the hosting, the, the nitty gritty, the maintaining of the database or the website or anything like that. You just basically have it all to you already done okay and then you can choose your themes and plugins and whatever you want um on here as well okay so this one is still has a lot of themes um you know wordpress is probably one of the oldest i should say or one of the best so one of the best communities out there right or i should say biggest community out there because you know there are since it's been out for so long so so long there's been many people that have had issues and then that have been solved so if you ever going to run into an issue there will be people that will know how to solve it <clears throat> so um, it has a great built-in uh, website builder in there um, there's a lot of great themes as well and it's really easy to change uh, in my opinion so in terms of the paying uh, this does have a free plan except that the free is um, it does have ads on it Okay, so obviously if you're making a professional website, you will probably want to upgrade to a different plan. All right, uh, and there is a 14-day money-back guarantee, so just keep that in mind. Um, so moving on, um, I would next one I would say is Squarespace. So Squarespace, you've probably seen this, probably seen the ads somewhere. You know, they have so many ads. Um, it's really good. Um, it, if you remember, Squarespace has been out for a while also, but it was just for blog hosting. Right, but now it kind of does everything like um, a, a web template, right? <clears throat> web it has web designers, it has high quality templates, right? Um, there's no free tier in this, so if you are looking for something that's just um, like a trial or you're not sure yet, you might not go with this because <clears throat> you know it, it doesn't have the free theme. Uh, then again, it's not really that expensive, anyways. Uh, probably. Uh, I think it was like $14 a month or something like that. Um, but basically, you guys can see these are the different uh, types of um, 
templates, right? Uh, one thing about the templates, they are really nice. They're very high quality, but there's not too many of them, right? Um, so then that kind of could make your website very similar to other people's websites, right? So it'll kind of look very similar because there's not really much to go off of, right? Um, but nonetheless, the themes are high quality um, and really nice looking. All right, so moving on is the Adobe Dreamweaver. So this is an actual software, right? So you download on your computer and <clears throat> you can edit it from there. Okay, so it's more like a drag and drop, right? Um, on a desktop application rather than on a web. So this is really nice in the sense that you kind of see what's going on in the background. And if you do have some experience with HTML, you can make nitty gritty changes um, in the HTML uh, directly. All right, so that's what I really like about Dreamweaver. Um, obviously, this is since it's a desktop application, it's not going to be um, <coughs> hosted automatically, right? Um, so you would have to find your own hosting and stuff like that. But in terms of actual development of the website, I think it's really nice. You guys should definitely give it a try. Um, you know, most people I know haven't even heard of this. This was a lot more popular, you know, a couple years back, but then, um, you know, it kind of died out, but now it's kind of came back a little bit, right? But, but you know, it, it's definitely worth a try. To, uh, definitely check it out. All right. Um, next one what do we have here weebly so weebly was bought out by square a couple years back i believe right and you know they're basically an e-commerce th their main focus is e-commerce right even though you can make other websites as well but i believe their e-commerce is basically their main selling point uh for their websites okay so you know you don't need to uh you don't need to know any coding at all um, in terms of designs i don't think there's too many designs Right, I, I believe the design they should they should have more designs to choose from. Okay. So, you know, if you have like a thousand people using Weebly website and you know this is probably little, what like fifty, sixty themes or something, not not much at all. Okay, so <clears throat> you you definitely want to take that into consideration. Okay, and let's just look at the pricing. They do have a free tier, but uh, with the free tier, you cannot have your custom domain. Okay, so it'll be like something.weebly.com or something like that, right? Um, so obviously, if you're gonna be a professional website or want to have a professional website, you will want a custom domain, which will be whatever your company name is, .com. All right, and that, that starts at $6 a month billed annually, which isn't too bad. Otherwise, t $9, which is, is reasonable in my opinion. But, you know, that, that also comes with um, the e-commerce uh, stuff also. So, yeah, like I said, you know, the e-commerce, in my opinion, is their main selling point. You guys can see over here. They have a whole section about it. All right. Um, but, yeah. All right. So... That I would say would be the second thing. Um, the th other thing about um, Weebly, um, I mentioned their designs aren't really that many, um, and their main focus is on e-commerce. Their e-commerce stuff is works really good. They have you know inventory tools, the whole checkout process, and everything, which is really nice. All right, now let's go to Webflow. Flow. So Webflow is more um, has gotten more popular recently especially since the no code slash low code has been coming out right a lot of tools for that so web flow kind of markets themselves as that right um it's pretty nice in my opinion i have used it and it's 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 different than the other ones i mentioned okay like dreamweaver it was like a desktop application <clears throat> but web flow is kind of similar to that Right, but you know, there's also some cu custom uh, websites and themes that you can use. All right. Um, in terms of their pricing, they they are it, it is pretty generous. You get f two free projects, right? Um, but then also you have to remember is that if you do get a um, paid one, it is non-refundable, so you cannot get a refund for it, or there's no trial date. Uh, for it but then again that's where you have the two free projects for uh, for you to test it out 
on there. All right. Last but not least is probably Wix. Okay, so this is probably one of the main ones that people have heard of or have used in the past. I remember when Wix was just a small company just started up. I was just, you know, messing around with it and used it. And now they are pretty big and, you know, probably one of the best ones out there in my opinion. Okay, Wix is really easy to use. It's really simple, you know. Um, if you have no experience with designing, coding, or not techy at all, it's no problem because it's, ju it's just really easy to use, okay. Um, there's a lot of templates, okay. So unlike, what was it, uh, Weebly, I believe, or Squarespace, which didn't have too many templates, Wix has a lot of templates that you can choose from, which is probably one of the best things uh, because you want to find, you want to make yourself unique and stand out and not just be like every other website that's trying to be all like, you know, minimalistic or anything. So, you know, many designs to choose from and their e-commerce is not bad also. I haven't used their e-commerce that much, but from what I've seen uh, of it, it has a lot of features and tools and it's it looks like it's really good. Um, last but not least, their SEO tool set is pretty good, okay? Um, it, I believe their SEO is probably one of the best ones uh, compared to all the other ones. They have a more advanced SEO um, feature where you can set more nitty-gritty uh, details of your website, which, you know, help it show up in the search engine more. So, yeah, that's pretty much it um, for this video. You know, if you have any questions or comments, please leave them down below. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up, you know, and don't forget to subscribe. And I will see you guys next time. Peace.